Hey guys, so I kind of wanted to go over GQRX and how to listen in with a software defined radio a bit more. So I have my Pine tab, which I went over how I did the modification to add the threaded port for the internal SDR. I'm going to be putting an antenna on it now. First, let's take a look at what it sounds like before putting on the antenna. I have a LoRa device right here going off. Every couple seconds, a message goes out. So let's take a look and see what it looks like. So you can see right here, it's actually picking everything up. Now, let's see what happens when I screw on a LoRa antenna. Actually, first, let's go with the large dipole and see the difference. Okay, you can see there's a massive difference right there. Now let's compare the dipole to the official LoRa size antenna. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew the dipole and quickly screw on the LoRa antenna and we'll see what we can find out. And it actually looks about the same. So certain antennas are going to work perfectly for the frequency or device you're looking to pick up on. Now what I mainly wanted to do this video on was how to find, you know, voice, something you can actually listen to. So I want to go over that a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the LoRa antenna, and I'm going to put the dipole back on because finding people talking on the radio. Now I'm going to go down to some frequencies where we might hear something. First I'll start with FM. So over here you have some controls, and when you're listening with your software-defined radio, you're going to mess with the gain here at the bottom. You're going to want to put that right about here. We got the squelch. Is it about 150? I'm going to leave it on that for now. I'm going to put it on WFM for stereo. And what you're looking for is you're looking for these waves, and this isn't a very strong signal, so I'm going to keep going up. Now, here, when I turn it up, so you can hear the music. So these are actual FM radio stations. So nothing, nothing too unusual. You can listen to this on your normal radio in the most cases. Sounds pretty clear, actually. Let's go up a little further. Okay, let's listen to 163.5. Now this here, this is in a, on the weather, and it's actually the NOAA. See if we can pick it up. Sometimes what you'll want to do is you'll want to zoom in on the frequency a bit, and that'll allow you to better isolate the frequency. See how it's a little to the right, so I'm going to move it over a little. I'm going to widen it. Now I've got it on narrow FM, and you can hear that really well. It's basically talking about weather and basically everything going on. So another tip is a reason we use the frequency zoom is because lines like these actually look like they could be something, but when you do the zoom in, you find out it's a straight line, and when it's a straight line up and down, it's usually some kind of electrical interference or power line. So you can see I can increase that filter width and pick up a little bit more of the voice sound. Just be sure you pay attention to your gain and don't have it up too high or you're going to add a lot of static. Picking up some more voice here and I might need to turn down the gain a bit. Can make it out. It's not the strongest signal. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bookmark it, and I'm going to call it Light Voice. So that button I just showed you, we'll call it Light Voice. And that way I can go and look for that later and see if I can readjust my antenna 
and calling it light voice because the signal was not strong when I found it. <clears throat> I will work on that and see if I can get a little better signal here. Now, a lot of times, you know, you got to take a look with the frequency zoom here. This will help you see if there's a voice wave in there or not. And when you have that down, you know, generally with the narrow FM for this range, you'll go ahead and line everything up and you'll simply fix your filter width to match the waves of the sound and that way you pick up every bit of it and you'll have to have a little bit of patience. It does take some time sometimes to catch um, people transmitting. You know, people aren't constantly transmitting voice, so bookmark them. Like I mentioned, use that bookmark button. Go ahead and bookmark the ones you find. This will save you a lot of time later. And that's what I have today, guys. That's how you use GQRX to find voice and other types of transmissions. So I hope you got something out of this. Like this video. Be sure to subscribe with the bell icon so you get notifications on new videos. And be sure to also share this video. I really appreciate it, and it helps the channel out a lot. So I will be back later and talk more about software-defined radio, how to use these things, and coming up we'll go over some of these data transmissions, and we'll talk about Universal Radio Hacker. So we'll check that out next time. So until then, I will see you later.